Giggling as she laughing as Stevie pursue her passion, trailblazing to satisfaction. Just Stevie is everlasting. Her drive, no one could match it. We knew that Stevie could make it on top, but she always saying these words to encourage you. Stick around, she'll empower you. Turn the negative positive. And she just keeping it real. She doing it from the heart. Motivation was a start. If Stevie say you can make it, it's a bet that you will. It's just Stevie, just Stevie, just Stevie. It's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie Mills. It's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie. It's just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie Mills. Just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie. It's just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie Mills. Just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie. It's just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie Mills. Are you ready for action? Giggling as she laughing as Stevie pursue her passion, trailblazing to satisfaction. Just Stevie is everlasting. Her drive, no one can match it. We knew that Stevie could make it on top, but she always saying these words to encourage you. Stick around, she'll empower you. Turning negative positive. And she just keeping it real. She doing it from the heart. Motivation was a start. If Stevie say you can make it, it's a bet that you will. It's just Stevie, just Stevie. Just Stevie, yep. just Stevie, it's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie Mills, it's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie, it's just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie Mills, just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie, it's just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie Mills, just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie, it's just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie Mills. Everybody, welcome to the Just Stevie Show. I am Stevie Aisha Mills, and this is the show where we're gonna discover who the It Factor rockers are in Roanoke and beyond. What is the It Factor rocker? Well, it is somebody who uses their guy given gifts to stand out from the crowded marketplace. We all have people who do what we do, but guess what? Can't nobody do you like you can do you. So I am excited about featuring people who are doing dynamic things and utilizing their God-given gifts, skills, talents, and abilities to take it to the next level. It's amazing when you do that because, guess what? You get to show the world exactly who God custom design assigned you to be. I have a story where I utilize my it factor. I didn't know what it was a few years ago. You'll learn more about me as we proceed in this journey, but guess what? I was on a job that I couldn't hardly stand. I hated it, it made me sick, almost to death. I ended up with shingles, I ended up with three colonoscopies within 30 days, two within 24 hours, and I went from a size 14 to a size zero. But guess what? I discovered my it factor and I'm so excited about helping you to do that same thing. So, today we have an extra special, extraordinary guest who is going to be doing who she is walking. When y'all see her, y'all gonna be like, yes, girl, yes, she is so phenomenal. And her name is LaShawn Conceited Bell. Conceited, y'all remember that, because we're gonna talk about that. We have just a few more moments, and before we get to LaShawn, we're gonna have a word from our sponsors, because the sponsors help us pay the bills, y'all. You know we gotta do that. So I will see you on the other side. Again, I am Stevie Aisha Mills, and welcome to the Just Stevie Show. Just Stevie, yo. Just Stevie, it's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie Mills. It's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie. It's just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie Mills. Just Stevie.
Have you ever asked yourself, how do I show up in the world? How do I leave my mark? How do I get up every day and be the best I can be? It all starts with a mindset. The mindset to keep pushing through all adversity, to wear the titles of confidence, self-reliance, and eternally beautiful. It all starts from within. Think, feel, be, and see. It's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie Mills. It's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie. It's just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie Mills. Just Stevie. It's your girl, Stevie Aisha Mills, and we are back to the Just Stevie Show. Get excited. Don't just get excited because that's my name, but y'all can be just who you are too, honey. I am excited because I'm an author, I'm a speaker, and I'm a public relations coach. What I really, really, really do and get excited about in life is to help women find the courage and confidence to sign the permission slips to their ideal lives. Why? Because I know that journey. I've had to do that journey myself. And I'm excited about this platform, the Just TV Show, because it's going to help you. Whether you're a man, too, because we love our men. Trust us, we do. But I have to get the women right. I've never been a man. I've only been a woman. So I got to get you right. I understand your journey. And today, we are excited because we're going to do the word of the day every day. What was the word of the day? Word of the day, hey, 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 hey. The word of the day, hey, 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 hey. Hey, <laughs> the word of the day today is da, 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 determination. Determination. Determination is indeed that station that creates the transformation in your life. So what is the station? You know how you go to the bus station, the train station? When you go there, you're going on a journey. So in order to go where you need to go in life and or business, you got to have determination. One of the things that helped me to be the most determined that I have been in my life is when I was on the illustrious campus of North Carolina A&T State University, Aggie Pride, Aggie Pride worldwide. And I was there. And the first semester that I was there, I was a party girl, because that's what you do. You go on campus and you party. But guess what? That partying couldn't last very long. Why? Because I was about to flunk out of school. Let's be real, y'all. Let's be real. So <laughs> I went to the club, but the next day I couldn't get up for my 1 o'clock class. And that's a shame, because I wasn't used to that. My mama didn't play that, so I was not going to the club like that. But guess what happened? I had to be determined to go from, I think I had like a 1.8 GPA at one point. I know, right? And then the financial aid office called me and said, Miss Mills, you better get this together. I said, okay, because I was determined to graduate in the years that I had. I wasn't going past four years. And I remember just being able to get it together. I was there for four years. I graduated in four years because I was determined. I couldn't imagine calling my mom and saying, I was doing too much partying. <laughs> so I was determined to get these grades done, and I ended up with a 3.0. But determination is truly important because you've got to be able to stay focused. You've got to be able to have your blinders on. I tell people to wear three proverbial things in life, your blinders, your rollerblades, and your headphones. Blinders to keep you moving. Actually, blinders keep you focused, rollerblades to keep you moving. Or if you like me, you know, I like to move fast. Y'all see I talk fast, but rollerblades to keep you going and headphones to drown out all the noise because you got to be determined. And I have some friends who have helped us to come up with determination words. If you follow me on social media, you will know that I love my Facebook friends. I really, really do. So as I go to my phone, we're going to check it out. We're going to see what these people said. We have someone named Anne. She is in Maryland. Shouts out to Anne. She said, consider it accomplished. Yes, Anne, I love that. Jocelyn says, keep pushing, don't quit, stay the course. And Ida says, keep on pushing forward. When you have these type of people in your life, you have to be determined to 
that today you get to meet someone I love dearly, someone who is super close to my life. She is the epitome of determination. She walks proudly as a entrepreneur, she sheepreneurs, that's why I call y'all, but an entrepreneur, a mother, a corporate climber, and she is doing some amazing things. You all will get to meet her in just a few seconds. Her name is Vernice, honey. Vernice, you know what that means as soon as we get back. A word from our sponsors, and we'll be back with the Just Stevie Show. It's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie Mills. It's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie. It's just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie Mills. Just Stevie. Who is N. Wesley Pugsley Jr. and Associates CPA? We are a full service CPA firm with over 25 years' experience in audit, tax, bookkeeping, payroll, including direct deposits, setting a 501c3 nonprofit status, preparing loan packages, and much more. Since tax season is right around the corner, our focus today will be on taxes. We have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. What sets your CPA firm apart from other CPA tax preparers? Technology. When I started in public accounting in the early 1980s, there were no computers or fax machines. Everything was face-to-face -face meetings. With the advent of computers, the internet and cloud-based software, we can communicate with any client from anywhere in the country. With our portal technology, which is similar to online banking, you just sign into our secure website, upload your tax document, you scan to your C drive, and we prepare your return. We've prepared taxes for over 15 different states in the past three years from California to New York. We have the state tax software for all states. With Skype being on phones and Facebook, we can meet with you face-to-face -face in the comfort of your home. It appears times are changing. I call this the year of enlightenment. Many Americans are seeing the advantages of supporting community-based businesses. We are here to serve you, not just because we're a community-based firm, but because we have the experience. We know we can serve your needs. How are you giving back? If you mention the Renaissance Academy when we prepare your taxes, 5% of your tax prep fee will be donated by our firm to this organization. The Renaissance Academy is a program designed to engage middle and high school African-American males in a series of college trips community service, job shadowing, workshops, and events promoting academic and social and financial skills. See their website for more information. It's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie Mills. It's just Stevie, yep, just Stevie. It's just Stevie, yep, it's just Stevie Mills. Just Where do I start? First, let me start with the actual definition of conceited. Conceited is a person who is self-reliant, confident, and internally beautiful. Um, growing up, I never really felt like I could fit into one particular group of people. It was, I talked too proper for the black people. I was too dark-skinned for the white people. So I never really found that great niche of friends to fit in with in, in high school. Um, but then I decided to join the military and it was only then was I able to fully develop and find out who I was um, from, a, from a personal perspective. And so I'm determined to help other women, men, children, everyone who I come in contact with find who their real person is like what does that voice sound like and I think it's important for me to help other people because I if you're if you don't go through it you don't really understand what people are dealing with I have a 17 year old daughter who is getting ready to go to college she has one more year of high school and then she'll be off to college and what I realized is I had to um, help my own daughter find her place in the world and find her voice and I do that by allowing her to make choices that could be um, potentially dangerous. I a lot of parents want to protect their children so um, so desperately that they actually um, kind of stop them from being able to excel once they get out into the real world. So what I do is give my children opportunities in the home to make real life decisions that actually impact their lives. See, every day when you look in the mirror, you're looking at who you are. 
right? And sometimes if you don't have something to, a, a little physical reminder to push you to the next level of who you are when you look in the mirror, then sometimes it could, it could kind of um, make you stay in one place and you become stagnant. So it's really important that you update your looks and that you, um, and that you keep current because that reminds you when you look in the mirror, this is who I am right now. I'm not the same person from 1979 or 1992. I am updated. I am, I am of value. I am great. So your image, whether it be personal, entrepreneurial, or from an employee standpoint, is very important. I am Vernice Conceited Bell, and I am determined to live the best life I can every day. And I challenge you to be determined to live the best life you can every day all right and we are back oh my gosh y'all! i am so excited we are now ready to introduce you to the determined woman herself lashawn conceited bell owner of conceited yes let's give it up for her Woo! hi needs to know how phenomenal you are you really Thank are you, phenomenal darling. and I want to kind of take them through who you are so how would you describe yourself wow if to describe myself um you know honestly I don't think I see what everybody sees to me this is normal um just living my life and and taking my life to the next step day by day and I guess I, I don't know I guess determined <laughs> Um, strong-willed, loving, um, unwavering, faithful, loyal, loyal to myself. Mm, I guess those are some words that I would use to describe myself. Let's sit in that one for a second. Loyal to yourself, because a lot of people can be loyal to other people, right? Mm -hmm. We all have been on the airplane, and if you have not, you need to go on one. We're going to get you on one. <laughs> but when you go on an airplane, it talks about putting on your own mask first. And I love that you have said loyal to yourself because as a mother, you know, you could be loyal to your children, you could be loyal to your clients, you could be loyal to a whole lot of people. But when you say loyal to yourself, that's amazing. How do you show up loyal as yourself, to yourself? To myself. The first thing is actually taking a moment to learn what it is about you that makes you tick. You know, what it is about yourself that makes you want to get up in the morning and be great that day. That's the first step into learning how to be loyal to yourself because if you don't measure what you want, if you don't decide what you want, then there's nothing to be loyal to. So that's the first step. And then the second step is deciding and becoming determined to be loyal in those things that you like. And then the third thing is just doing it. I think a lot of people spend time wanting to do something and thinking about doing something, but then never actually do it. Mm. So learning to be loyal takes those three steps, identifying, deciding, and then doing. That's right. Y'all hear that? Y'all better get your pens and papers <laughs> out because she is teaching on today, honey. Yes, honey. And, <laughs> and the cool thing about that is because you balance a lot. You know, oh. you balance a lot, and the and one thing I know about your, uh, anybody's it factor is that it looks like grace, right? You walk in it, and it looks like grace. But tell us about the different hats you wear in just one day. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. Well, I, I have I have to speak on this first before that because I had lunch with a friend of mine this afternoon, and um. The one word, one discussion we were having was about harmony and balance. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, which one is more important to you? Is harmony more important or is balance more important? And the key in that for me and my understanding is sometimes balance is worth more than harmony. Mm. Right? They're not, they're not the same thing. But... Having harmony in life means sometimes you won't push the envelope. Sometimes you you want to be so content that you're unwilling to get to that uncomfortable state. Mm -hmm. But having balance means that 
this is what is important to me, and then this is what I'm willing to do to get there. That That is the difference for balance, mm -hmm. you know, between balance and harmony for me. But as far as, like, the different hats that I wear, <laughs> um, <laughs> I so I'm a video engineer for um, a hospital in the local area, and what that means is I – um, and responsible for designing a system that can be integrated and to bring telehealth to people who may not be able to have access to um, doctors and facilities and things of that nature. Um, so that's what I do in a day. And really it's very easy for me because I've been doing it for so long. I'm not going to tell you how long because <laughs> then y'all might start counting my numbers, right? <laughs> so I'm not going to tell you how long, but... Um, I've been doing that for well over 10 years, so it just comes naturally, it comes easily for me, um, and it's still continuing to serve the community. And um, just recently, I launched my own company, which is my umbrella, and I'm proud to announce it on um, the Just TV show, yeah. um, the Power of Presence <laughs> yeah. Academy. And with that, um, the Power of Presence Academy is really um, a umbrella in which we can help people determine who they are and really live in that light, you know, to, for, um, to, to shorten it just a bit. Because in so many aspects, we wear different hats, we do different things, we become different people, but we never actually become loyal to ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so in the power of presence, we teach, you how to, we teach you how to decide what your presence means, we teach you what your presence is, and then we teach you how to live it in so many different aspects, from fashion and styling to your hair and your makeup to um, being a mom and learning. Listen, I'm going to tell you all this story, right? I, um, <laughs> I cook. I love to cook. That's something that I do, and it's mindless to me, and I love to mix different foods together, and I love to mix flavors and textures. I love to cook. So, like, I cook these grand meals for my kids, right? I cook lobster and lamb chops and and bacon wrapped chicken all these different foods for my kids and on mother's day last year i was invited to the school and all the kids read their read stories to um their parents and one of the questions that the teacher asked my son was <laughs> what is the favorite thing that you like that your mom does and my son says I love my mom's cooking. Mm, mm. <laughs> and so then the teacher followed up with, what is your what is your favorite thing that you like that your mom cooks? And my son says, hamburger helper. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, like, I was like, really? <laughs> Out of all the stuff that I make for you, boy, you want to say hamburger helper, right? And that that really was a real learning moment for me, like, it's okay, moms, to take the what you the shortcut because sometimes that might be what they prefer anyways. Mm. You know, if if that's what you need to do, like it takes you thirty minutes to make hamburger helper, and then you can take that extra maybe ten minutes or twenty minutes or thirty minutes that you would have took an hour to make that dinner. Take that extra thirty minutes and be with yourself, mm. right? Sit down for a moment, have a cup of tea, have a cup of coffee, and be with yourself. So. I just had to share that story because um, that's how I keep balance in my life. That's how I wear so many hats. I, I allow myself room to make mistakes. Mm. I allow myself room to be human. I allow myself to feed my kids hamburger helper because that might be what they want. Wow. <laughs> I love it. I think that <laughs> I always have like these things for my friends. And I think sitting down with you is like that cup of tea. It is like that coffee that yes. you can indulge in and really understand because you are a centered person. And so many people are not centered. And they, you know, are all over the place. <laughs> all yeah. really, literally all over the place. But to understand, you know, what you have to do in the 24 hours that so many people do not utilize theirs correctly is just amazing. And I think that that's truly part of your it factor because you I've never heard you complain. I've never seen you like frustrated. I've seen you bounce it and do it and say, we gotta do it, come on y'all, <laughs> let's go. And I love that and I think that's important. And I think also that we know something is coming in your life that's changing. And I keep hearing the song, a change is gonna come. I am a, my name 
same with Stevie. Y'all know music. But a change is going to come. So what change is coming for you that you've decided to walk into? Oh, man. Um, okay. So um, um, with launching the Power of Presence Academy, I um, got on the phone with um, a brand strategist. And let me, let me caveat. Every successful person that I've come into contact with has coaches mm. that are with them, right? Say that again. So and they pay them, <laughs> right? And they pay their coaches, right? Because you want good work, and so to get good service, you pay good money. End the story. Um, but anyways, I was working with my brand strategist, and I was thinking like, in my corporate world, so working for this healthcare provider, um, people call me by my first name, but then in um, working with people and coaching individuals into becoming their true self and standing in power and owning their life, people call me LaShawn. And when I was talking to my brand strategist, I said, I don't know if I should change my name. I don't know if I should use this name or that name. And he said to me, he said, well, have you ever looked up and Googled or searched or did research on your name and find out what it means? And so... I did. I was like, well, no, I haven't done that. So um, I did it that night. I got off the phone with him, and then I did some research on what my name means. And in Latin, it means victory bringer. Mm. Like, that's what my first name means. It means victory bringer. So even still, after reading that, I still wasn't, like, it still didn't sit well with me. Even though it's my first name and I love my first name, it just didn't sit well. So then I was like, okay, what am I going to do? And I prayed about it, mm -hmm. and I meditated on it, and I got c really clear on what I want people to become as a result of being in my presence, as a result of my coaching, as a the result of my hairstyling and makeup styling, as a result of me helping them strategize for their brand, as a result of me um, developing a complete image for them, I decided that I want to bring victory to them. So it makes no other sense than to just go with my first name. So last week I changed it and it kind of like, I guess, <laughs> rocked the world a little bit because people were like, wait, what? <laughs> um, so I changed my name, which is not really changing my name. Let me be clear, y'all. It's not really changing my name. I just decided to use my first name more um, friendly. So I changed my name from LaShawn Conceited Bell to Vernice Conceited Bell, or Vernice LaShawn Conceited Bell, <laughs> whichever you prefer, you know. Um, if you want to call me Miss Conceited, that's fine, because in the end, what I want to do is I want to become a household name, mm. right? Even with the name Conceited, people say, oh, you're Conceited. I'd rather see a young lady or a young man who has so much confidence that they're willing to become uncomfortable, they're willing to become um, a, 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 um, Whatever word you want to call it, they're really to become whatever it is you may think of them because they are confident, right? Yeah. So that's where Conceited comes from, and that's where Vernice LaShawn Conceited Bell <laughs> comes from. And I just really want people to stand in your true greatness. Mm -hmm. And if the victory bringer can do that, if I can bring victory like that, then I'll do it. Any day, you can come wherever you want. Well, no, that's a lie. Don't do that. <laughs> whatever good thing. Whatever good thing. We own the names, honey. We're not, we're yes. not gonna be called whatever. Yes. yes. But I mean, Vernice, Lashawn, Conceited, or Miss Bell. You can call me anyone. Well, I'm gonna call you sister because you it. are indeed my sister. <laughs> you are my sister friend. You are just a wonderful woman who is. I'm just excited that I met because we are a very like kindred spirit. We are. And I appreciate the fact that you are who you are and how you show up in the world and that you are, in fact, determined because Absolutely. that is who you are. You are, in fact, just yourself. And when you are yourself, when you rock your it factor to the fullest, then nothing in this world could ever sway that. So right. we are walking in victory because of you. We are walking in determination because of you because we have something tangible to look at and to view. So I, sister... Thank you for being here. We love you, and we shall keep connected to you. And I just want to say thank you so much to you because I know a lot of times for us women it's hard to go out there and be great because we're always judged and criticized and ridiculed and called names for not fitting into a certain box. But I truly value you going out in the world and telling girls 
rock your it factor, whatever it is, even from after the fall to just Stevie and you have no idea what I've been through. Like all of those things empower women that are just like you and me to go to the next level. So thank you. Thank you for being obedient. Thank you for staying in your path. Thank you for walking in grace and shining your light into this world. We need you. We need you. We got you. <laughs> we got each other. Yes. Y'all make me cry, girl. I love you. I love you too. And thank you. Stay connected to Bernice, Miss Bell, all of those great things, because she is who we need to connect to, guys. We shall see you on the other side of this commercial break. I know firsthand the effects of sickle cell anemia. I didn't start knowing about sickle cell anemia until uh, I started growing up and had friends that had it. And um, I've learned a lot about sickle cell anemia if I had no other choice. Uh, I'm a father of three sons who were born with sickle cell anemia. And um, our cells are sickle instead of fully circular, so it's easier for it to clot and cause a sickle cell crisis. Um, which are, yeah, which you put a put a young man through a lot of pain, young man, young woman through a lot of pain. This disease that affects over 100,000 people in America alone. My brother passed away from it. Um, my oldest brother, at the age of 16 years old. Um, me and my me and my other brother, we've been battling with it our entire life. So sickle cell is affecting my life because I've had friends that had it and um, just seeing what. Like, we'll, we'll be out there playing one day and then, you know, seeing them the next day, like, the stuff they go through, it, it just happens just like that. And you you don't really, it's, you don't really know when it's going to hit. And Yeah, it's affected me in a major ways. Um, couldn't play sports like I wanted to. Um, yeah, it's, it's something, man. Sickle cell, man, it's a whole different thing, man, because... Imagine one minute your your child is is out playing and everything's fine, then 20 minutes later they're in unbearable pain that you can't do nothing about. Sickle cell crisis, man, it's the worst pain in your life, man. To see this and realize like what what how sickle cell can affect a family and friends in so many ways, and uh, will I ever be ever, ever be able to? get over this, is this ever gonna stop, you feel me? Because crisis can last for days on end. They could, they could last for weeks, you feel me? So, seeing and learned about growing up through my friends, uh, like my message would just be like, spend time, like, care and be there and, you know, just, just love one another, be there for each other. Because it's not just for me, it's for everybody with sickle cell, your loved ones, my loved ones, uh, people we don't even know, they have, they suffer from this disease, man, and we can, we can do something, save their life. We can, can make it better. Hello, and thank you guys for watching this episode of the Just Stevie Show. I know that you can see the walking, breathing, living definition of determination that Bernice is. Don't y'all love that meaning behind her name? I know that we all have the victory because we have seen her today. And we know that even though we may not do all that she does in a day, we do what we do. And the cool thing about that is that we do it to the fullest. So I am excited about seeing you on the next episode of the Just Stevie Show, where we will learn how to cultivate our it factors and we will learn how to put together the pieces of our platform. Cultivating your it factor, as you remember, is all about learning how to use your God-given gifts to stand out from the crowded marketplace. And the pieces of my platform, well, that is about using every good thing, bad thing, terrible thing, indifferent thing that's happened in your life to just put together the platform. Whether your platform is at home, whether your platform is in corporate America, or whether your platform is in the entrepreneurial world like mine. It is all about the pieces of the platform because we have got to do it together. As you put your platform and I put my platform, we could build stronger together. And my favorite hashtag of all times is connect, collaborate, change. Again, connect, collaborate, change. As we connect, 
we collaborate and we make change. So it is again a pleasure of mine to be here with you. I am Stevie Aisha Mills. I am excited to be the host of the Just Stevie Show where we help to bring the It Factor Rockers of Roanoke and beyond to this platform. So we shall see you soon. Make it a great day. Don't have a great day. Make it a great day. Why? Because you, 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 and yes, you too have the power to do so. Bye for now. It's just Stevie. Yep. Just Stevie Mills. It's just Stevie. Yep. Just Stevie. It's just Stevie. Yep. It's just Stevie Mills. Just Stevie. Yep. It's just Stevie.